Well, we have a similar uh, varied taste to uh, Nick Martin's group in terms of the disease we're studying. Uh, most of the diseases we look at are, tend to be to disease and traits in older people and often related to the aging process itself. So uh, we've found uh, very major uh, genetic components for things like arthritis and back pain, obesity, uh, and the aging process itself, uh, as well as things like blood clotting. Uh, so we're looking at those uh, disease traits associated with aging as one of our main priority areas. Other ones include uh, things of uh, eyesight, such as cataracts, um, or even short-sightedness, which is, is uh, extremely uh, over 90% genetic. Um, and these, these are things that in the past were believed to be purely environmental. And so um, some of this work really is changing our perceptions of a lot of these diseases uh, and traits, which I think is an important aspect of, of our twin research. And are you making progress actually isolating the actual genes that are linked to the medical problems? Are you, are you finding those genes? Yes, we are. So, I mean, the twin, the twin process is really the first uh, stage of, of genetic analysis. So, uh, as Nick described, uh, you compare identical and non-identical twins to find out what the proportion is due to nature rather than nurture. Then having discovered that, you then uh, look at twins, and this is where the non-identical twins come in really handy, is you can look at the, how they, those non-identical twins share those particular bits of the chromosomes together, and in those chromosomes you can then find the genes. And we're making big progress, and lots of genes are being discovered for these, these traits, but we now know that it's not just one gene that controls, say, obesity or old age or uh, heart disease, it's hundreds of them. So uh, we're certainly making progress, we're finding many of these genes, but uh, there's many more yet to find. And as the more we do it, we also find out that the, the whole process is extremely complicated. It's an interplay of these genes plus an interplay of the environment as well. And that's, but also that's something that, that twins can really help us with. Uh, the other things that are quite surprising uh, are that uh, people didn't believe are things are personal beliefs. Um, we talked about some of these, these twins' uh, telepathy and things, but. Um, uh, we've done studies in several countries, including uh, and, and Australia, have also done these studies saying that belief in God has a genetic component to it. And I think these are, these are facts that actually can change people's perceptions about um, how the mind works as well as how the body works. And these are, these are great insights that twins can give us. How extraordinary. Belief in God is genetic. That's right. Well, it's, it's, it's a mixture of genes and environment. But, uh, uh, if I was asked to say what the most surprising finding of, of twin studies were, that, that to me was the most surprising, that, uh, that it wasn't uh, predominantly um, uh, the upbringing, uh, it was a mixture of your genes and your upbringing that decides whether you are very spiritual or religious.